At, and a clerk turns the tables on a man he says tried to rob him. Right now, the would-be robber is in the hospital in critical condition. That's where Cuthbert Langley is this morning live for us. And Cuthbert, I understand that you just got some new details from investigators about this crime. Yeah, Amy, I did. I just got off the phone with Metro Police. I asked them for a surveillance video or perhaps pictures from this robbery. They say they can't release that yet because the suspect who's here at Vanderbilt could be connected to several other robberies. I'm told he was armed with a semi-automatic handgun when he walked into the market last night. Let's take a look at some of this video. This is from the Grand Slam Market. This happened around 10 o'clock last night as the gas station clerk was closing up for the night. He says the robber walked in. The clerk didn't want to take any chances, so he reached for a gun, pointed it at the robber, and then shot him. But get this, the robber was able to then stumble out of the store into his own car, attempting to drive away from the scene, but he didn't get far. Police found him. Once he crashed that car, he was brought here to Vanderbilt, where, as you said, Amy, he is in critical condition this morning. I've also just learned he is out of surgery this morning, is expected to recover, and once he does, he will be facing aggravated robbery and felon within possession of a weapon once he is released from the hospital. But as I said, he could be connected to several other crimes. The gas station clerk will not face any charges in the situation because he was acting in self-defense. We're live here at Vanderbilt Medical Center this morning. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD.